Jeffrey Kassig, one of my oldest and best friends in the world. Thank you, Jeffrey. And Hari Ramachandran, the CEO of Oro. Uh, well, first up, what's up, Sin City? Let's do this. Uh, it's just so emergent. And the more time I spend with uh, Hari and, and Jeff, the more I realize like it's so, you can barely keep up with the exponential growth of it. I mean, literally one in four of us, if not today, then tomorrow or soon is gonna be victim to online crime. And because it's so insidious and we're all so busy and it's the information age, even the stuff that I felt like I was doing, I was like, I'm proactive, I'm updating my blah, blah, blah. It's nowhere near enough. And so it was about creative problem solving with this founder and this uh, just assassin of a business partner. And it, it, for me, it's been an amazing education. Jeffrey, um Yeah, my, my Instagram got hacked and shortly after, it was just kind of synchronistic. Um, Jeff reached out and said, hey, we've always been looking for something that we can really do a deep dive on together. And literally just since then, I'm gonna tell you guys, I have a close family member who had a stroke and has been confined to a wheelchair for some time. And they were scammed and defrauded by a third party claiming to be someone that we both knew and was even using things between the text and the mom knew about her health history, knew about our history. And when I looked at it, it really approximated this other person, even to the point where short voice messages that were left were indicating that it was the same voice as this person. So we all know that the stuff is up and running, but there are an army of bad actors out there, not myself included, I just want to go to uh, who, who are, this is their daily mission, and it's not, it's nothing personal, it's just business, and yet it really, really freaked her out and affected her, her health, her mental health, it was, it was awful. This was uh, two weeks ago. Thanks, Mike. Um, well, it used to be this, you know, uh, folks like me did movies, we did TV, and then we would do public service announcements. And so those were, that was maybe how we made up for bad karma of making bad movies sometimes. Um, or it used to seem like, generally speaking, when something was emerging, whether it was a political, social, you know, whatever it was, a, a threat, you know, people would, uh, you can think of it even with like the, uh, the bonds drive in, in, in World War uh, II. But this was a way, honestly, because the conversations we're having, and this is a, a huge venture, but the conversations we're having are so personal and passionate about all of the ways that we can use this AI revolution uh, for good and not a ton of people are really putting their heads there, so we feel that that is the blank space. And, and that's why it just feels like a natural thing. But to really answer the question, it really is about a part of what I can do, and it's great for me because then I get to pretend I know it. I actually have to learn it and then share it with other people. But you know, it is about educating and, and raising awareness about this because we're all so busy, we just kind of don't know what's coming. Absolutely. And critical too because just think about it. you have a kid there they're on a they, they didn't get on the team or they got on the team and maybe they're the ones who struck out and they lost the pennant but then they meet a new friend or that friend moves away all these sorts of things that we used to just call as latchkey kids now in a way it's just more like there's so much data coming at them but these natural rhythms of life we don't know the wins the losses the things the new groups of friends they're trying to fit in you know since the pandemic changing schools my back school well, can we go back to school it's been a, a real strain particularly on this so again right before we came here in the hour where normally we'd be kibitzing and on our phones catching up on all other stuff we were having this really impassioned discussion about 
about you know continuing to really dive on this and create the solutions that I, I think that's going to be really uh, exciting emerging part of this of this product. And, and you know I think back to Lex Luthor and Superman. Okay, and I think back to G if Lex Luthor had taken the, the genius of the criminal mind and put it towards good, what would that be like? And the alternative was he took the genius mind and he put it towards bad. I look at AI in a similar way and say, is this the Lex Luthor of you know? Thank you.